Hello everybody and welcome to the stream this morning. Um, we're looking at a game called March and Forest today. This is just released on Nintendo Switch. I believe it's been out on PC for a while, but it's got its console release this week. And I've been looking forward to it ever since I saw that it was announced for the console. Mostly because it has this really lovely aesthetic that reminds me of the 3DS JRPGs. And we're being promised that this is going to be a dungeon crawler, which of course is good for me. So this is, like I said, new. I haven't played it at all. In fact, I started the stream within a minute of finishing the download. So I have absolutely no exposure to this game beforehand. And we're going to play along and just see what it's like for the first hour or so. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's immediately compelling and catching. I really don't know too much about it other than it is a dungeon crawler. Okay, so we'll get into this. Let's see how we go. Languages, new game language okay so we can choose between Japanese traditional Chinese English and Korean and simplified Chinese there you go plenty of different languages to choose between but obviously I'm gonna go with English and other than that we haven't got much to do new game interestingly this uh, controller is immediately set to the Japanese controllers uh, layout where the B button on the switch is actually the confirm button as opposed to the A button and that's cool since Sony has mandated that the Japanese developers uh, conform to Western standards with control maps it's been yeah I'm, I'm, I haven't played one that's been like this for a while but anyway that's a minor thing new game now the loading into the entry screen was actually quite lengthy so I don't know if this game has long loading times across the board but it did take about a minute just to load up to the opening title screen. We could be here waiting a while for the game itself to start that would be that would be the ah there we go it's off to a pretty quick loading once you get into the game. Hello Restart Kun and welcome to the stream and I indeed agree with you boo Sony. <laughs> um, yeah that was an odd decision to force developers to use the same button maps as the Western developers. Hello, Patty. Welcome to the screen. Stream. Screen. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Good to see you on. I haven't done morning streams, morning Australia streams for a while, but I do seem to get more people jumping on then. I guess it must be the evening for places overseas, especially America. So I'll probably look to do more morning streams. This is a story of a young girl and her magical adventure. I do like the aesthetic, like I said, it reminds me very heavily of the 3DS era of JRPGs with the big-headed characters and uh, the nice, plain, not basic, plain, simple, minimalist uh, textures and stuff. Ah, cool. Excellent. It's actually nice to know where people are from. <laughs> uh, I don't often check in and see where all my list of watchers are from, so... Cool. So, you're an apothe apothecary in this case. I've just finished up with Atelier Riser, so seeing characters standing over cauldrons is not unusual for me at the moment. Very Atelier-like start. Complete with explosion too, no less. So I hope everybody on the stream has been playing interesting games. It has been a busy couple of weeks for releases. Atelier Rise are out this week, East 9 out this week, and I do have a review for that coming too. ReZero is out this week. It's been a big week especially if you're into your Japanese games. That's why I wanted to do this stream of March and Forest. I feel like it might slip under the radar just because it happens to have released at the same time as all these other games and I have a gut response that it's probably deserving of attention. It's actually um, yeah it'd be good to do the morning streams again Paddy. It's actually a pretty good time to do a stream as well because I generally check in on what's been released on the Switch store on a Saturday morning and with the rate at which games are released I'm pretty sure I'll find something new to play each week 
on these Saturday morning streams so you can see I might pick one game that's come out in the week and highlight it plus it's what I'd be doing anyway I'm gonna be playing the games anyway so I might as well stream them it's good content for my channel <laughs> oops oh dear she's done a naughty this Milne she shouldn't have been using the cauldron grandpa's cranky now Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's a chill grandpa. Alchemy is more of the lead and gold. <laughs> Various substances, including the bodies and souls of living beings, to that end, etc. Getting a very boring lecture here. Yep, I agree with you, Milne. Yeah, it doesn't suck how we real life gets in the way of doing things. I have had the busiest week of my entire life this <laughs> this week, trying to get a couple of these reviews out while at the same time crunching like hell to get the visual novel done. Now that it's done, I have a little bit more time, I hope. But yeah, this is off to a good start. It's all very pretty, nice art style, nice aesthetic. I have no idea if the music's any good. Uh, I have to turn music off to do the streams. Or I have to mute my TV, I mean, otherwise I'll be echo. So, hopefully the music's nice. I find out about that usually after the streams are done. Okay, so we're about to go and start playing with resource gathering. Let's see how Atelier like that is. Just collect. Just gotta collect some stuff. Easy done. Now loading. Oh, that's cute. What's that? Little birdie. Or oh, big birdie. What the heck is that? Galaxurth the Wanderer. Cool. It's a duck. I think. Okay, so we need to find two ingredients to take back home. And that's it. Thank you, Tutorial Duck. Okay, so we've got control now. I am, I am liking the surrealistic design of some of these characters. It's quite charming. <laughs> yeah, they're all a little bit unnerving. It's, yeah, it, it's very surrealist. It's quite visually, it, it, yeah, the aesthetics are quite nice. They're engaging, they're detailed and whatever, but, and creative, but yeah, they're a little bit unsettling. Let's check out the barrel. Ta oh, I guessed it right. This game is obviously inspired by Otilia. Does she say anything? Does she actually say Taru? Oops, hope so. <laughs> I feel like I had no choice but to say that just now. So for people who don't know the Atelier series so well, uh, it's been going since 
a long time now. And it has a tradition where the characters actually shout out Taru when they see a barrel, and Taru means barrel in Japanese. They just shout it out, and it's become this thing where fans of this series looks, look forward to seeing how each of the Atelier characters will actually say Taru when they see a barrel. It's just a bit of fun within the series, and it's just a tradition, I guess. Um, this game's playing with that, which is pretty cool. If you're going to be inspired by Atelier, you've got to do the Taru thing. Oh, they went one further. They even have a wooden box. Oh, I think I can pick up this. A flying onion. That'll be a uh, ingredient. Cool. What else do we get? Wooden bench. Ah, oh, mushrooms, I think. A few mushrooms. That is sound advice. Never eat strange mushrooms, indeed. No, I can't get that one. So, I still need to find a second... Ah, there we go. Damp moss. Okay, so I got our two things. It looks like it's got a fairy tale edge to it too. Just the general sense I get. Grim Brothers fairy tale. Oh, there we go. We can save the game while we're here. Might as well do that. And now we can talk to Grandpa. Yeah, it is. It's got a very nice kind of um, warm glow to the to the art, which is quite pleasant. Dreamy, as Patty says. Yes. Kind of uh, warmth. Just throwing them in the pot and hope for, hoping for the best, I guess. What do we get? Oh! Red potion. An antidote. Excellent. <laughs> and just like that, we are now a fledgling apothecary. Ducks back. Have you got a feel for the game yet? I like how efficiently this thing's getting us into the the whole game. Goodbye, duck thing. He's back again. Just likes hanging out with us, clearly. 
森林の恋人渡り鳥銀河です次は中級の薬に挑戦してみましょう<笑> We're already up to intermediate potion making I do like how efficient this game is It's not about two hour long cut scenes at the start just to establish character and whatever It just throws you straight into the experience We need more games like this We need to collect five ingredients now Okay Any five ingredients Very well Now we did get told we had to get some potion, the antidote. We needed the antidotes that we just created on the second floor of the house. So up here. There we go. Okay, we have our antidote. Now we are ready to go exploring again. There we go, 16 minutes, and I feel like we're firmly into the game, which is. Very fast by modern standards. Usually JRPGs like to spend ages just getting you going. But in this case. Now let me pass now. Give me something tasty if you want to get through. Something tasty. Can I give him the antidote? I bet the antidote's tasty. No, okay. Um. Oh, mushroom head. Food in the box. A donut. An eaten one. I got a donut. I don't want to share it with this guy. I just want to eat it for myself. I guess I gotta give him the donut. I really don't want to share, but I'm sure I'll be able to cook myself up some donuts soon enough. There we go. There's a penguin. I haven't played Spice and Wolf VR game, unfortunately. I have heard of it, but I haven't played it. He wants to confess his love to the girl penguin on the other bank. <laughs> but I'm not very good looking and I'm a total weakling. Oh, don't let yourself down like that, Paulie. Be confident. Do you know how to get a girl to like you? Milne's got it right. You just gotta have a bit of confidence and tell her how you feel. Oh, sweet. Head <laughs> pat the wolf girl. <laughs> Will you be my personal trainer? Looks like we've got a mission here. We have to help Paulie get confident. It's a mini game. Here we go. We've got a mini game. Penguin trading train. This game is odd. It's very odd. 
What's the what the thing in the back there? It, it's just. Uh, let's work on wing strength. Buff up. Get some curls going. Paulie has begun training near the ruins again. Okay. So the only thing that I will say so far is the loading times are quite long. Uh, that's just a technical issue. It doesn't really bother me, but I know it does bother a lot of other people. These are all quite longish um, loading times. Every time I have to change screens. Okay, we've got a flower, a zinnia. That's one. We had to find five, didn't we? Five. Five natural resources. Gossiper. And there's a squirrel here. I've got a cold. Just a squirrel. Oh, that's what we needed the antidote for. It cured the squirrel of his cold. Yeah, the silliness is really, a, it, the oddness of this game is very endearing. I just don't know what's coming up next, you see. I like when games do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can go through here now. There's a hole here, let's peek inside, what do we see? See, another loading screen. Ah, it's the duck! He's got a day off. <laughs> so I could spy on the little ducky there. Don't know why he's living down the hole, but that's what he's doing. Uh, there was a bunny here. There, there we go. Bunny. Let's talk to the bunny. Do I want a carrot? I do want a carrot. A carrot. Anything I want. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. What do we got here? I don't even know what that is. A scholar. <laughs> Dog? Maybe a dog. That's why I'm trying to scoop all the water from this river so I can cross it on foot. That does sound like what a scholar might do. Genius. Okay. And then we got a bard going somewhere to that. Bit worried about him. He looks a little bit sinister to me.
the scholar had something on him, and what do we got up here? Oh, there's a snake in the way. You can call me Mr. Snake. Right now, all I do is sit here because that's what I'm paid to do. My dream is to some. Okay, so we've got a snake here that wants to be a shopkeeper, own their own business. But the scholar had something for us, so we'll go and chat with him. What's he got? What's that? Oh, come on, dude. Give me it. Give me, give me, give me. No. Alright. So we'll go over this way. Slip in here. The penguin's here doing his work yet. Oh. Uh, now his wing strength is up. I've boosted his wings. He could probably pick up anything smaller than a cat. Cool. But his legs are still a bit weak. So let's work on his legs now, shall we? Get to work. Get to work, Polly. Thing is, this was meant to be a dungeon crawler, and we haven't got to any <laughs> dungeon crawling yet, so not sure when that'll that'll come in. But for now, it's very um, moon-like, I guess, or earthbound, or a kind of semi-satirical adventure game style, which is cool. It's very cool. Just not what I was expecting going in. Something there. Nope. Let's go this way, shall we? There's a pumpkin there. We'll pick the pumpkin up. I can't remember how many things I've got. Maybe three now? Oh, lunchtime. Don't know what the purpose of that was, but it is what it is. What have we got? Maybe that's it. Maybe I have... Because I had the onion and damp moss already, so maybe I've got... Maybe I have everything I need to head back, turn it in and create a potion. Possibly. Let's find out. I'll do a save again. Just keep my saves up to date. Have I brought the ingredients? I hope so, let's find out. Yep, it was enough. So I have unlimited damp moss and onions apparently, because I already found them. And what did we just create? Let's find out. Let's find out. Hopefully it's yummy.
we created green potion. Oh, a dream potion. Ooh. And now I'm already a reputed apothecary. Cool. Tell you what, you're doing this much faster than you're doing Atelier. <laughs> it doesn't take you it doesn't take you anywhere near as long to become reputed in this one as it does over those games. Let's see how many ingredients we need this time. We are indeed ready for something a little bit more advanced. Thank you very much. Search the forest and collect a bunch of ingredients very well. And check out a book. Better do the book as well. And up we go. We had to grab that potion as well. We we'll probably need the dream potion. Put somebody to sleep while we're here. Here we go, dream potion. There we go. Now where was this book that we were told about? Ah, there we go. That'll, that's the hint. That's what we need to do next. We need no less than 10 materials and inappropriate materials, volatile materials, must not be added. So if we add those, then the potion won't work. We need at least 10, po 10 ingredients and they can't be volatile. We can do that. All right. Possibly, let's see if we can put this guy to sleep to steal his whatever that was. Black Pearl is a volatile material. Okay. They're good for cooking, right. And black pearl is good for cooking, but not for making potions. I reckon we put the snake to sleep. 
この瓶にずっと動かないでいたら二度と譲っていただくことはできない<笑>この何薬でもいただきます私だ。私は金色の。<laughs> He's tripping now. He's tripping. Mr. Snake's gone crazy. Okay, Mr. Bard. To get the bucket, we grab the bucket of the scholar. And then we need to go to that spot where we draw water from, which was the little Jesse there. Oh, it's a fish. A fish called Fishy. Oh, made me drop my bucket. <laughs> the fish has given me a bamboo rod. Okay. So now I can go fishing. I guess. I do like when a game has good fishing mechanics. This one is big fish, big fish, big fish. What is it? Uh, it's basically Animal Crossing style. You just time the reel in and you catch the catch the fish or whatever. Hello, Pavig. Welcome to the stream. It does have a Rune factory kind of glow to it, I guess. And... Uh, Yeah, it's like Rune Factory if they all had Nintendo 3DS JRPG style bobblehead characters. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it, that's a good way of putting it. What a whimsical little thing this game is. It is. It's very... 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 Um, dryly funny. <laughs> it's, it's actually making me chuckle along. And... It's not doing anything overt with it. It's just... Pleasantly surreal. There's an otter there that is now fishing. Mr. Fisherman. Thanks, fella. Okay. Penguin's still doing his running exercise, which is good. Now we just need to throw the water on the snake. それは私としたことがでもおかげで目が覚めましたよ。いつまでも何かのせいにしていないで、行動を起こさないと始まらない。それじゃ私はこれで。Grab a little treasure chest. What do we get? Ah, uh, that's the black pearl we were talking about beforehand. Little forest bright as a toy. What's he got? Oh, there's a tomato now. Because the forest bright had a gun. Of some kind? I don't know. A little shooter. Pea shooter. A tomati. <laughs> I got a tomati. Okay. 
nothing there. Or is there? No, nothing over there. That's fine. We'll check out this side as well. Ah, there's something to talk to. Flower heads, faces. My name is Violet. Uh, Rose and Violet are having a fight. <laughs> Talking flowers was never a good idea. I'm going to have to take a side. Oh no! Alright, so we need to talk to all the residents of the forest to find out which they prefer. Roses or violets? What does the bard reckon? Oh, the bard hedges. <laughs> The Bard Hedges. What about this guy? What's he reckon? Okay, so we've got one vote for Rose. Does the author have anything to say? Nope. Something amusing about how it held. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is. It, it's a very aware game, I think. It's, it knows. It knows what it's doing. A carrot's an option. <laughs> Can't choose roses or violets, so carrots. So, so far, one vote for rose. rose. Scholar's a bit rude. Still only the one vote for the rose so far. He reckons mushroom. I'm just a rock. <laughs> Maybe Grandpa has a view. We should check in with him. Let me ask you a question. Do you like stew or curry better? Definitely curry. What a nice sentiment. They're both good for different reasons, so there's no point comparing them. I am the frog. <laughs> I have been tasked with managing this game's sound settings. <laughs> I like it. All right. So, I think we've learned our lesson here that both violets and roses are equally special. So there's no point comparing them. With that in mind... Oh, there's still one to talk to. I need to talk to this guy. Ah, see? There we go. 
Violets because roses have thorns on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't asking for your life story, fella. Just his opinion. So one each and then clearly they're equal. Grandpa helped me understand something. You are both different qualities. And you're lovely in your own way. So sweet. I got a sweet leaf out of all of that. Yummy. And we got a toolbox. Cool. Right, yo. So, what have we got up here? Don't know what we can use that for just yet. But we did get a toolbox, so... Oh, I know what I need to use the toolbox for. It's to fix the bridge. We're going to check in on the penguin. While I'm here. See how the penguin's going with his training. Oh, look at his leg strength. He's ready to run a marathon. Better get back to wing strength, I guess. I think I need to use the toolbox just to fix that bridge. I think that's the goal. Or maybe not. We'll do some fishing while I try and figure out what I need to do next. <laughs> See if we can catch a fish. jellyfish a gummy fish to be precise I don't know what that is about. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. How many th ingredients do I have right now? Uh, inventory. Ingredients. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So, we still need to find one, I think. 
I think I still need to fish. I think. I had to get 10 ingredients and I couldn't get volatile ingredients. And I think I've got 9 plus 1 volatile ingredient for the black pearl. So if I get one more fish, then I might have 10. What I get, what I get, what I get. Ah, it's another jellyfish. So I'm going to take a wild guess that that's probably the extent of what I can fish up right now. I might be wrong, but I think. What's he got to say? Oh, okay. So I can sell him the print. And then I can buy... I need to have an awful lot of acorns to buy the next fishing rod up. Whoa, look at that. That's expensive. 15,000 acorns for Jiang Jia's rod. I can buy ingredients now. Alright, well I guess I just have to keep fishing. Let's do a little bit more fishing. Some parts of this game is a little bit less well designed, like for ex example, every time I finish a, a fish, every time I catch a fish I get taken back to the main world and then I've got to go back in again, which is the loading times. The loading times is the one problem with this game. Oh! Different button. Shoot. I pressed B and it meant to press... It should have pressed Y. Naughty me. Okay, let's try again. Oh, it's a different fish. It's a fishy. So you don't actually keep the fish, you return them and you just take their prints. Because of course this game would be far too charming to let you hurt the little animals. Including fish. Throw a line in, let's see how we go this time. That's a pretty red. A scoppy. Let's see what kind of money we can get for trading in those two little fish. Prints. Fish prints, not the real fish. We returned them, but we kept the prints. Let's sell the prints. Thirty-six 
30 wasn't too bad. There we go. 64. Making. I'm about halfway to the next fish. Uh, next rod. I'm just wondering where I need to go next. What do I need to do next is the question. Or maybe I have 10? Let's just check my ingredients again, shall we? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8. So I need two more ingredients. Not a hundred percent sure where I need to go now. Maybe a little bit lost. Ah, oh, right. The bard wanted the toolbox. There we go. You can advance time by resting the bed. Okay, so we're going to rest. Oh. <laughs> no. Resting indoors. There's the bed there. All right, so it's morning now. We'll just save. Let's see what the bard's got for us. I'm excited. Oh, he's gone and built the bridge over. There we go. He fixed the bridge for us. Thank you, Mr. Bard. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Now we can talk to this penguin. That boy on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Mole's diner below. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. What have we got in Mole's diner? Whoa! That's a bit creepy. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes on this character. Of Alice. <laughs> I thought there was some Alice in Wonderland inspiration in there. It's good to know that confirmed. It does have a very Alice in Wonderland vibe. So that's not surprising. But the mole's really the Volatile. Oh, he's the chef. There we go. He's the one that brings the volatile materials too. 
<laughs> Shin Meg oh there you go, you may be you may be right, maybe it does take <laughs> inspiration from Shin Megami Tensoi Zealots. Okay. A meal voucher in exchange for materials. Cool. Uh, no. I want to keep that. Flying onion, I want to keep. Tomati, I want to keep. River water, I want to keep. Sweet leaf, I want to keep. Zinio, I want to keep. Karut. Black Pearl, he can have that. He can have my Black Pearl. And keep my Jackpot. I got a meal. Give me my... I can have ramen sandwich or a chef's pick salad. Let's go with ramen. <laughs> Those are things you never want to hear out of a kitchen. Oops, ah well, and to done. At least I don't have to eat it. Wow. That's some service. Will you go away? Keeps telling me to go straight home after eating. I guess I have to. No choice. I don't know what all of that was, but I just bought a meal which I didn't eat by trading in a black pearl. Um, okay, next job is to have that penguin go confess his love for the other penguin. Oh, Mr. Penguin. Thanks, Patty, for joining in. See you next time. I think that's close enough. Four out of five star. He should have confidence to talk to the girl penguin. Do it. Good luck, Mr. Penguin. Well, the duck's back. ゲタバコラブレターの恋人メルンちゃんの過酷なトレーニングを終えたペンタ君魔王を辞して海岸の女の子天秤に伝説のキノコの下に来てくれるようになってさてペンタ君の運命いきなり誘ってしまったけど
<laughs> go out with me, marry me. Let's let's go. Let's take it a bit slower than that. Let's go. We go out with me. I think that's the right response. Brutal. Got absolutely brutalized there. Yeah, exactly. Poor guy. Ouch. Oh, well, at least he takes it in the right spirit. Oh, we got an ice cream. Excellent. And a seaweed stem. Cool. We got ingredients. What I need in a long term partner is a healthy income, moderate good looks, and open mindedness. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I think we have our 10 ingredients now. Let's just check. Inventory. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, we have 10. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's see how we go. Let's see if we can get this potion going. Just to save. I think I do. I think I do, Grandpa. Have all the volatile materials been removed? I have no idea. Let's find out. River water? Sweet leaf. Ice cream. No, don't throw the move up. What's the meal voucher going to do? Alright, well. Let's see how we go. Let's see if it creates something. If there was one of those materials, is a volatile material, this is not going to work. Oh. 
that doesn't look good. Yep. Oh no! Oh wait, no, it worked! It worked! Cool! And I am now an accomplished apothecary. Apothecary, after one hour's play. I think that was the tutorial, effectively. <laughs> I think that was what I just did, and it was just a whole lot of humor. And I think we're about to go make it snow. That's what that potion does, makes it snow. See? メルンちゃんは初めての光景に感動し、空を眺めすぎて、首が疲れてしまったみたいです。おじいちゃんはメルンちゃんに息を見せてあげることができて、とても満足そうに笑っていました。他の森の住人たちも、その幻想的な出来
On a stormy night, like that. が大きくなったら話そうと思った。そうだったね。嬉しいじゃん。so now we get to go into the underground labyrinth and go looking for mother. Alright. Healing out. Healing out. Poodle's grandpa, thanks for all the fun. Welcome to the stream, Heavy Arms. I think it's, um, I mean, there haven't been many reviews because I don't think codes went out. <laughs> uh, I didn't get one, I actually bought this game, so I suspect that's why. It is new, it only came out yesterday or whatever, so we will get there with reviews. I'll go and play this and review it over the next couple of days as well. But it looks like we just finished the tutorial, which was fun. It was a lot of fun. I haven't had a tutorial that's quite that endearing in quite a while. But now it looks like we're about to start the adventure proper. Which would be including the dungeon crawling bit, I think. So we'll get... have a look at that while, we, while we're on the stream, just to prove that there is a dungeon crawling bit. We'll see how it goes. Oh, there's a dragon! So definitely some combat involved in this game. Beyond the tutorial. Some interesting looking enemies. There was a skeleton pirate there too. All of that through one little magical door. It does have nice visuals. It's one of those games that pref that preferences art style and direction over technical detail, and I prefer that. I like a game that has artistic credibility, where the artists have been free to come up with some interesting ideas. There's the dungeon. That's creepy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hit points and food. So we have it all. 
What's he gonna say to us? The vagabond. First, the bard comes strolling in here, and now you. I'm the one they call the vagabond. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to save the game and... Uh, it doesn't look like there's any... does not look like there's any multiplayer whatsoever at this stage. Oops, I've gone somewhere. I don't know where I've gone. I hope you can hang out with a duck. Oh, there we go, Rosetta's room. So, there's a couple of denizens of this dungeon. We'll chat to her. What's she got to say? If you find an unidentified relic in another room, bring it here. Okay, fine. I can do that. Oh, there's a doggo in the back. That, that. Let's see if I can get around there. This thing here, that's a doggo. They're a traditional Japanese kind of doll thing. And by traditional, I mean thousands of years old. Went to an exhibition of doggo once. First time I went to Japan, actually. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. All right, anyway. Side story aside, let's get back into this. Let's see if we can get some dungeon crawling happening. I have to finish the tutorial before going on. Probably have to talk to this guy. He'll help me. I'm going to keep pestering him. <laughs> the dungeon gets pretty dangerous, etc, etc. You'll die a thousand times over if you just wander in unprepared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's study up on the basics. Tutorial time. Give me tutorial. I can learn more at the tent. Okay, fine. I'm no newcomer, screw it. I've done enough dungeon crawlers, I don't need to bother with a tutorial. I know how these games work, so I'm going to just do it. Escape, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, I can escape. Thanks, buddy. あきらめの小瓶は何度使っても無くならないが、脱出の代償として手持ちの未完成品をすぐ脱出用ロープは一度使うとなくなっちまうが、ペナルティーという状況に応じてうまく使い分けない。いいか。食料が尽きたらもう
には僕の想像がつくはずもなく闇の底に眠る真実を Oh, there's a ghostie there. <laughs> Cute little ghostie. Dungeon level one, the sealed cave. Right. Okay. Ah, okay. So you run into enemies and it's turn based combat. Possibly. Yep. Ah, it's kind of Mario, um. Paper Mario style. You need to dodge the ev evasions. How cute. What lovely little art style. Three in a row I dodged. That's how good I am at this. Four in a row. This ghost is tough. Ah, I got hit. Ooh, eight damage. Just as well, I have been dodging. Because <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Yay, I won the battle. And leveled up. That's an interesting perspective too. The kind of gauntlet top-down perspective on on the map. I can't control the camera. Do I get some food here? Grab some food while I'm here. Yeah, I can't control the camera. And then there's enemies that show up at random. They're cute enemies. They really are. Oh, I can keep attacking. I don't have to wait. <laughs> I thought I had to wait for, like, timing. But I can actually just keep attacking. That makes a whole lot more sense. There is no time. I mean, the enemy works. The enemy fights on a timer. But I can just kind of button mash as long as I want. It's just important that I keep an eye on the... Um... I keep an eye on when the enemy attacks because they do a lot of damage if they hit so I need to make sure they don't hit me. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Can I go through here? I need a golden key. Okay. What about this one? And... That's a locked door that I just can't get through. Fine. I can't unlock. Huh? Oh, it said unlock successful. I don't want to... That's an exit, though. Not ready to exit just yet. Because I see treasure there. I want to get that first. Enemy encounter rate isn't too often. It is random, but you do get plenty of time to wander around. Okay. Let's do this. Evaded. So I can get two attacks in, in between. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this game now. Oh, I got some cash as a reward this time too. Maybe I can talk to that guy. I thought he was an enemy when I bumped into him. No, I can talk to him. Cave Rabbit. Oh, 
も食料が多く叔母は食料が厳しいからちゃんと拾っていたねバイバイケイブリブ Thank you for your assistance There'd be a door there I need a golden key to open that door too Fine Just timed that evasion. <laughs> I only just got out of the way there. A sushi! Cucumber roll. Okay, that's yummy. I got a level. Do, 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 do. There's something in here. There's a treasure chest there. There's some food there. Let's eat that. There's a treasure chest. It's locked. Let's unlock it. Let's pick the lock. Awesome. Yay, it worked. There's another treasure chest just sitting there. Open sesame. Some food. And another ancient enemy. Ancient sh ancient shade. Yep. And another small meat. That's all good food, hopefully. Grab me some more nom noms. Ah, there we go. I got the golden key. Oh dear, I took a hit. I got cocky. Only seven hit points left. <laughs> All right, we'll go this way, see if there's anything here. Nothing. Now there was one door to the right. That had some treasure in it. It was a golden key door or something, so I'm going to go that way first. Interesting little combat system, that one. It has got a nice rhythm and flow to it, but I just... Hopefully it's a... Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. That just restored some food. <laughs> There we go. We'll open this door. So you get one use. What's that? We're going to max food up. Cool. It was a little bag, I think. It could fit more food.
and another 15 experience point and another small meat. So I mean, who knows if it's randomized battles or anything, uh, randomized dungeon layouts or anything like that. There's no exit. Once you're in a dungeon, you can't exit out the way you came in, so you have to press on, I guess. But I did have that thing that I could use to escape, so I'll do that in a second. I'll just win this, win this battle. Oops. Oh dear. Haven't got much health left. Oh no! I actually did run out of hit points. <laughs> I got cocky. Oopsie daisy. Is that a game over? Is it just a... Yeah, it's so it's a roguelike. You get scored. And I'll be returned to the start of the dungeon. There we go, just like that. So, what did I, what did I save? I keep my ex level. Um, I do keep my level. I keep most of my ingredients. Just not the... Um, yeah, I keep pretty much everything that just wasn't identified. But I do keep my experience level, which means that if you do get knocked out, then you don't right back to the start like you would be with a more standard roguelike. But anyway, um, I think that's a good place to stop this stream because I've been going for one and a half hours. That gives you an idea of everything that the game involves, I think. So you do get to do some alchemy stuff. And then after that, you get into the dungeon stuff. And it does seem to be a roguelike dungeon crawler with an action turn-based combat system that blends together nicely. Anyway, it's a really charming game. Very much enjoyed the first hour and a half of it, and I will plug on and see if it keeps up this standard. Thanks, everybody, for joining me on the stream. I hope this was interesting. Do let me know what you think about it once you're playing it yourself, if you give it a go. And, yeah, it was released on Switch yesterday or something, so it's a very new game. You can find it on the eShop. Uh, have a great weekend playing games and doing whatever else you're doing, and we will see you next week.